I'm full of hatred for that tribal council. It's a battle over land, rights, and enforcing a court order. It's been quite a journey. The conflict centers around the Winnemucca Indian Colony. It's several acres on the south end of Winnemucca. In December, more than a dozen residents who live there were told they had to leave their homes, where they've lived for decades. People got my daughter's ashes spread there. So... Elena Loya lived in the house where her mother once lived. In fact, generations of her family have been there almost a half century. My uh, great-great-grandmother, uh, Sally Cinnabar, um, she died on that colony. And um, her mother died all, actually, in that house I live in. The history of this land dates back to President Woodrow Wilson. He issued an executive order in 1916 allowing federal railroad land to be used for the Winnemucca Indian Colony. It was meant for homeless Paiute and Shoshone Native Americans. In the past few years, some of the people living on the land, like Jim Ayer, have been intertwined in a legal fight to stay there. I lived there since 1980, and I'm at least seven to ten generations I could chase my ancestry back to 1894. Last December 2nd, the Winnemucca Indian Colony Tribal Court ordered that about a dozen residents had to leave. It's been a legal fight that's been going on since the 70s with numerous court battles. Colony attorney Norberto Cisneros explains why they're evicted. Why not just let these people live on the land? They've been there so long. Why now take it back? The people that are on the land right now are not members of the Winnemucca Indian Colony and cannot trace their lineage back to the homeless 1960 Indians who were part of that 1916 base role that we're talking about. In addition, many of them receive federal funds from other tribes because there are other tribal members. The evicted residents say the tribal council has no authority, saying they voted themselves in, but the court agreed with the board and upheld the evictions. The tribal court ordered that the residents be out by early December. They had a few days to get their belongings out of their homes, but anybody that returned to their residence after that were arrested by the Bureau of Indian Affairs. Kyle Missouri spent six days in jail after he tried to go back to his grandmother's boarded up house where he also lived. BIA officers stopped him. I was trying to follow this work. And then I got uh, wrestled down and then they, uh, they tased me, I think, two or three times. The Little Monk Indian Colony doesn't own that house. My grandmother owns that house. So she's the one who should authorize who can and cannot be there. Residents say low-income elders who were evicted from the colony are living in this Motel 6. This is just about humanity, basically. Why would you kick somebody out in the middle of winter, especially Winnemucca when it was snowing? The colony has offered leases to some residents so they can stay. And the lease had a bunch of stuff that I couldn't even talk to certain residents, so I didn't agree with it. And they're like, you're going to have to move. The colony boarded up some houses, bulldozed others, saying they were unsanitary and unsafe in some cases, and they paid to have some mobile homes moved. It's not some heartless, you know, middle of November, throw families out. No, this is a process that's been going on for years, and we have tried to work with them, but the response always comes, no, and you have no right to do what you do. But this is hard for residents who still have many of their belongings inside their homes. They said I was a terrorist. They said that I threatened the tribal council, and sure, I might have threatened those guys, but what is a guy going to do when they show up with loaders and tar start taking your campers and your fence and all your tools out of your garage? They got a court order to take everything out of your yard but your house. A giant fence around the colony's homes, and the court order keeps evicted residents out. It crushed me. Kim Burroughs, News 4 on your side.